Not particularly. Oh, right, you're so above it, I forgot. I figured I'll be as cool as you. Well, isn't that what this is about, Michael? Hmm? It's funny how turning my life upside down actually involved pretending to be me. It worked, didn't it? Well, it's the only trick you ever pulled. All our lives, you wanted everyone to think that you were the cleverer one, the big brain, but it's only ever been about me, about trying to be me. <laughs> you always thought too small. Not like you, right? Lucifer the rebel, deciding you can do a better job than dad. <laughs> you know, I wonder how you got that idea in your head in the first place. <laughs> oh, right. That's your play, is it? Taking credit for my failed rebellion? Well, by all means, it's yours. Now, you see, that is the best part. All I did was plant the idea. You're the one who chose to do it. You still get to keep all the blame yourself. <laughs> your lies are so tedious, Michael. Not as tedious as your denial. Because I'm not lying now, brother, and I think deep down you are realizing that. And once you realize that, you're gonna wonder, maybe it wasn't just the rebellion that was my suggestion. What else? What about your little sexcapade in the garden, or, oh, your vacation here to Earth? That's impossible. Mm -mm. It was quite easy, actually. All it took was a little whisper here, a carefully orchestrated coincidence there, and your pathological self-absorption, of course. Voila! All your idea. Why? Because all our lives, you thought that you were better than me. The great Lucifer Morning Star, but you're not, are you? You're just Samael. Stop calling me that. All right. Why don't I call you what you know you really are? Unworthy. I want credit for my decisions, but I'm confident this one is all mine. <laughs> ah! 